Hello and welcome. Thanks for watching this video, first of all. So what will you learn? Well, I got a question about how to fix an error. No pSpice template for some part, right? So whenever you have a part and you try to run the simulation and it doesn't work, what do you do? Well, I'll show you how to associate a pSpice model with a part so it can be simulated. Okay. Here we have an example design done by Cadence Design Systems. Now, normally when you have this example and you run the simulation, all of these parts have a piece by simulation profile. That's what enables the software to run the simulation. Okay. So what you see here graphically is just graphics. Some parts may have a file associated with it. Some may not. What is this file? The file is a spice file. Uh, probably move this over here, here. No, oh, this is bothering me. Anyway, the file associated with this part or these, this part or this part, there's some file called a spice file. So let's right click on the part and choose to, uh, well, you can associate a spice model. Let's go with this one. Right click. Here we go. Edit P spice model. Now these parts, these schematic parts are symbols have a separate file associated with them called a spice file. And pSpice is uh, based on pretty much spice and spice defines the parameters and code that one needs to model the symbol behavior under certain circuit conditions. Okay. So this spice model or file, this model is is shown in like some default file that's created that has a dot lab extension dot library in the spice file which is separate the file is separate from this part so this is a schematic symbol it's only lines it's only it's only graphics this file is in a different thing and this gives some code runs in the runs in the P spice engine. The P spice engine looks at these variables and says, Hey, okay, great. I got the numbers. And then it does crunches some numbers, does the Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff current law, runs the simulation, and then it outputs this thing. P spice well capture just makes it easy to drop in some symbols and do that. And the stuff runs in the background. So now here's the thing. A lot of times you'll find a part. Let's say, you know, you go over here and you go to place a part or something like this, something to do with arithmetic. And then you select a part. Uh, it's pretty bad like this, right? You double click it. You can zoom out, you place it, right click end mode. This part, if you look down here, It'll show whether it has a P spice or spice file associated with it and lets us know it can be, if it can be simulated. It, uh, let, let's double check. Let's run this. Let's try to run the simulation now and see warnings were reported check session log. Click OK. The warning shows up as a green dot for this part that I just put and I check the session log at the bottom and it says, the part device cannot be simulated. No piece by template found in U1, ignoring it. So parts that don't have a spice simulation or piece by simulation profile, that's the file we saw earlier for this MOSFET. This doesn't have, this is not associated with any behavioral model for circuit analysis. It's just a graphical symbol. Whereas these other files have some type of association. This does not. So now with that understanding, we need to right click, then associate a piece by model to it. Click yes. Then we would go through our model library. We can browse through model libraries, click browse. And then we need to look, we look for a model. Let's say, uh, is there an arithmetic? There is no arithmetic, uh, library. It's unfortunate. But let's say you had a manufacturer. Who's this manufacturer? I don't know who manufactured this part. You could find a manufacturer, right? Let, let's go to browse. Let's say we found a manufacturer and the manufacturer provided the spice model in a dot lib file. And then you choose 
that manufacturers.lib file. Then what it'll do is find a matching model for this part. You go through the steps, update the part, and then you'd be able to run the simulation. Okay. Uh, let's try Texas Instruments then to, to test this process. I would add a library, honestly, that's from the Spice, the PSpice library to make this easy. So you can control all. And then look for something like this. So now we double click on this, right? Assume this didn't have a PSpice model, but actually it does now because we see the two little icons. It has a PSpice model, it has the layout. So PCB footprint. So now when we right click on the C, since it has a PSpice model associated with it, I can edit the PSpice model. Whereas the other part that looked like this did not have a PSpice model. So let's just assume I went on the manufacturer's website, got the .spice file, downloaded it, gave it a .lib extension, found it associated with this thing, then this is what it is. Okay. Kind of confusing maybe. So what I'll do is I will show you. I right click, associate piece by model. Yes. Yeah, I'll override the existing implementation. This part came from the ones, the Dig ECL library. So click browse. Assume I got the Dig ECL library from the manufacturer or something, right? Click that, click open. Now I'll look for this part number. Usually a dot lib is going to have multiple parts in it with the multiple model variations. So we're looking for 10158. Here it is. So the manufacturer made a, a model in this live.lib file within this dot dig underscore ECL dot lib file and made a model 10158. And then this model has the pin numbers, the definitions and text. Then what Capture does is it graphically, it graphically, uh, it gives you a graphical representation of these parts because who wants to do all this? Who, who wants to interpret this text, right? And make it make sense. Nobody wants to do that. So Capture makes it easy and says, hey, here are the model terminals and their names. And here are your, here's your graphical symbol pins. Which pins of the graphic part of the graphic symbol do you want to associate with which you want to associate which graphical pin okay you want to associate which graphical symbol pin with which model terminal from the spice file and then you select you say hey i want my graphic d0 the d0 on my graphic to be associated with pin d0 on in the spice file then you keep going through that doing that for all the pins and then you can even show invisible symbol pins, right? Because sometimes your schematic symbol has invisible pins. Hmm. Yeah. So VEE. Ah, there we go. And VCC. Wow. See, it's a good thing I did that. Then you can choose to update all the parts that are in ORCAD capture, or you could update just this part in ORCAD capture. Let's update the selected part. It was associated. Now, am I going to get this green dot like I did for the last part? See, the green dot doesn't remove itself automatically. Let's see what happens. Let's run the simulation. This part has a simulation profile. Ah, see, because it has a simulation profile, it's not being ignored. And then the simulation runs, but based on our probes and whatnot. And there's no signal going in here, but yeah. If you want to see a demonstration for this, you have to like hook this up and then make it work. But that's the process. I hope I explained it well uh, for for you to understand the whole context. And, you know, I don't like my videos to be too long, but it's it's hard to understand where all of this is coming from unless, you know, if you're new to it. So if you have any questions or comments, you know, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you want more training on this, I do do some free training but paid training if you want the if you want the in-depth multicolor analysis stuff like that we can discuss that okay if you're trying to get a some elevation or be able to perform your job at work or get a job then 
I can help you navigate. I can help you get that and to perform well. There's a lot of stuff on my channel here. There's only about 5 or 10% of the stuff I can help you with. All right. So you want to contact me directly to get the real help. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.